Hey, silly things to say, silly things to say. You people, when when um um Yvonne and Olivia and Nana were talking and they said things, you guys were like, ah, look at they're saying things, they're saying things. That same night, Ipen and Luke said the same exact thing and referred to to the Nigerians as things, but nobody did outrage anything. So I don't understand. I don't understand what people are trying to come up here to make it seem as if Nigerians are starting anything, generalizing. Nigerians are living their life, going to do things for themselves, going to work, going to to live their life, going to talk about actual better things. You BBN lunatics are, are coming to make in your boy coming to Nigeria to 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 to, to be a, a, as if people outside of BBN culture, son. Like literally go on that Yaba left um, news and say, ah, you guys, Tabang is in Nigeria. And see if anybody would literally give give a flying fuck, or go to Insta blogger and as, ask them that. Just because there's a small circle of of, of BBL fans in Nigeria and and around the the whole Twitter circle that knows about this, you want to come to Nigeria like this? Nigeria is always in the Nigeria is always moving mad. Then if Tabang not go there and display hatred and stupid behaviors and dislike towards Nigerians at whatever point in time that he did, would anybody tag him as a xenophobic person? Was he the only South African in the house? Tio was he tagged that? Even look at said rubbish once or twice. Was he tagged that? Uh, um, Nelly was he tagged that? Melissa was she tagged that? Juicy J was he tagged that? Justin were they tagged that? Um, yeah, yeah. There are other people that were in the house that South Africans that were not tagged that because they did not go there and display the behaviors that Taban did that rightfully made him to be tagged as that. It's not the defense to be to be trying to explain or or, or trying to talk about. It. People don't want to explain. It's fine. You're going to be calling somebody actually fit fan club. You are saying to be saying, uh, yes, we don't like Afrobeats and so what. Uh, uh, yes, uh, it's poisonous. Yeah, um, that that time that thing was moving on with the whole egusi soup thing. Foolish people were coming up here to say, yes, me I used to, yeah, I used to, yeah, I used to smell it. It smells on my hand too. And uh, well, me too, I have ashy feet. This like senseless people coming here to embarrass yourself because of somebody that doesn't even know who you are. Come to insult yourself because you're defending a 21 year old and you're even older than him. You're probably in your 30s, 40s talking out of your ass for somebody that will not even hear you. You're embarrassing yourself. Just speaking rubbish. And they are coming to now say that people should not be holding on to those um, um, anger at the stereotypical things that he did in the house. Or you're trying to be confused as to why he has been tagged that. If he acted like a normal human being like Juicy J and wanted to learn like he said he wants to do and stuck with it like that, would anybody would ask, have come at him? I beg, I beg you to say, man, I'm trying to act as if all these things have, did not happen. It all happened. He came out of the house, he probably changed. Yes, he probably changed. Doesn't mean that the things that he did were suddenly undone. But most of you are still carrying that beef from the house. Because a lot of you are still carrying it to other fan base. Carrying it to Yvonne, carrying it to, 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 to Yemi, carrying it to other Nigerians out of the house. And insulting them all because you feel like they are being xenophobic to, to, your, to, to, to your boy. So you can say whatever you want to say about them. And then the Nigerians that are even enabling you, those are the ones that, that will actually even crumble. The ones that are enabling you. You people are so embarrassing. Embarrassing to the core. And then you're coming up here to, to want to lie and say you did not say this or you did not do this one. Then people will just be lying. At least I can be on 3,000 spaces. I will say the same exact thing I said on the one space, on the next space, on the space after that. You should come here to be changing my and asking us if you want to cry. Who your tears help? I beg, I beg, I beg. And um, that's the please before I, I drop my mic. Like we keep saying, but the people that keep for those tibangas that keep talking about him. And I saw the tweets that you are like, you know, you're a big Joe, a big small Joe, and um, big Doctor Basic face about him having burner account or whatever you want to you want to start and whatever beef you want to create with him and that little and that big head boy. It will not work. After he finishes his tour of Nigeria, he will go to another place. The only person that, that is here, that is setting up businesses here, that have thrived here is Yemi. And if you think that you people insulting Jenny O, that has more of connections with entertainment industry, that can actually, that is actually winning and working hard here, you think that your drugs is going to cause her to lose her job or to do anything? Yeah, you are wasting your, wasting your time. Jenny O is, Jenny o is not the cause of people's problems. Jenny O is not the cause of it. Jenny, you people can come up here and say, we try them every day, we do this every day, we do it every day. The next after next month, it will everybody will still go to sleep. The racism will come. You yourself, Doctor Babyface, and the rest of you, you will move on to somebody else. We will not hear you defending somebody else. So you know, and you know that. So allow yourself to rest and know what you are saying and have sense that you want to claim to have. And if you want to come at me, you better know what you are what you are saying. Well, yeah, if you want to come here and instigate, or you better list the things I've instigated. I'm not saying I'm not an instigator, but list it. 
list it because I will not instigate. I will say it as it is. If you do not like it, that's your problem. And I said what I said about Tabang, and I will keep saying it. People can say I have issues with Tabang. Yes, I do. And I've always said I do. It doesn't matter. I Yes, I do. I do not like the kid. He was misogynistic, in my opinion, and he's xenophobic. I said it. I have said it, and I will say it, and I will keep saying it again. If you want to cry, you cry. That is who he is. And you people, have, you people your, his fans keep showing that never even, and that's just, he, whatever he's doing is just for, for likes or whatever he's doing. But when we move on, we will now see what will happen, happen to him. Thank you. Conversation. Let's not do this, please. Let's not do this. If you don't have anything to say, it's okay for you to listen and not request for Mike and aggravate situation of things. Please don't do it. Guys, I am so, so emotional right now and I've had a whole lot and I am happy. Please don't piss me off the more. Thank you. If you, Mizo, can send me a recording of me and say exactly what I said about Nigeria, then I will drop down. If you can tell me what I have said about Nigerians on whatever space you feel, when I even joined that space, I did not hear your name. I left, I did not hear your name. So what are you saying? Even when a speaker came up and said, I tried to generalize, the host of that space was comedy. Comedy said, we are not generalizing here. We are speaking about the people who spoke down on Tabang when he entered the country. And that was how it was till I left that space, and this space is still on. I left there. And secondly, I've been on this space, I've been down here on this space before I chose to come up. So don't say I have not been listening to what has been said. Also, if you wanted to speak, you would speak to others when they were generalizing or saying whatever. I, I, I came up here because Kamanga did not generalize. He said Tabang is xenophobic and that he should embrace it with his full chest, and that even if he apologized, he should embrace it and whatever. That is, that is, that's, but he on his own, he's saying, calling other countries, roadside country, and saying, if everything is about to die down, we need to watch, we need to know how all this thing started. We know, we know how all this started. So we're not just talking about today. We're not going to say, oh, Rosa, or oh, Big Show, no. And then I'm going to ask you, how did it start? Was Canada in the house? Did Canada call a whole nation? Did it call a whole country? Did it tell them they have Ashifi? If you want us to go there, then I will go there with you. I really don't like to speak about BB Titans. Like I said, guys, please don't make me like speaking on this app because you would not like what would come from my mouth. If you want us to go to the root cause, which I don't even want to tow that lane with you, you guys would not like it. Nobody who called Nigerian food poison, who spoke about Ashifi, who called Nigerian fraudsters, Please don't get me started. If you want to go where this all started from, you will not like it. So please, I've heard a whole lot of names that Nigeria has been called. Even be uh, baby, uh, baby Z, I've called her out today. I've called her out today. You guys have a whole lot to say. A whole lot. I really be staying on mute and not speak on things, but when my name is being mentioned, you don't expect me not to speak on it. If you were not on that space where my name was being mentioned, don't speak on it, Dr. Babyface. I beg of you. Do not speak on it. Don't speak on it. Thank you. And I maintain that I came on this space, and I, I don't remember calling your name Izino. I'm speaking to the person that was speaking directly. I don't know. I said already. I don't know about what was said about you. Dr. Davis. I Okay, you guys will allow her to talk to me. Allow her to talk to me direct. Let's talk to each other. I want to talk to her now. Oh, yeah. Where you want us to go there, right? You came to the house. Did you want?